What's going on? All right, we're gonna fly up the inside. Oh, it's a Toro Rosso holding up everybody. That is hilarious. Come on guys, welcome back to F1 2017. Today we are headed to Suzuka, one of my personal favorite tracks. However, I'm not actually that good at it. Anyways, today we've already gone and done all of our practice stuff. We've done pretty well actually. Uh, we have some decent resource points, which I'm kind of... Like, I kind of want to go in and actually start upgrading our powertrain just because it's really bad and it would help at the end of the season. It takes one week to do and it's like, it's only 600 points. We could almost do two of them. Arr, I really wish we could. Like, do we go for that or do we go for that? Save 200 points, 100 points, 100 points, 100 points. Wait, that's not, wait. I need to wait, maybe we shouldn't do all of that because I'm not really interested in fuel stuff. Hold on. How much money am I actually saving? Probably should have done this before. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So I'd be saving 800 points only by getting that. That's worth a thousand. No. Okay, let's start getting our engine upgrades going, boys. So uh, once that's done, that'll be done next race. We can go and invest in some more engine power. Yeah, buddy. We're going. And I mean, of course, at the end of the season, we know we get a nice bucket load of points. So we'll be coming into next season even faster. I'm so excited for that. So you join me here in Suzuka. Uh, like I said, this is one of my personal favorite tracks, but a track that I'm actually not really good at. So today might be a little bit interesting. We'll have to see how it goes. Anyways, let's jump on track straight away. Super soft tires. Let's go bang in a lap. And then depending on how we do... Uh, it'll dictate how this race goes and what we what we do because we do need another engine I think uh, before the end. Why is it so loud? Where's my remote? Turn it down, bro. Thank you. But yeah, anyways, we'll see how this qualifying goes and it'll dictate how we how we do things. Anyways, we are back. We are doing the 50% race distance, which you guys have been loving. Seriously, thank you so, so much for all of the likes, the comments. It seriously means a lot more than you guys probably think. So massive props to you guys for that. It's seriously very, very much appreciated. Anyways, let's get going in the Red Bull. Start pushing, see how we can do. I am really crossing fingers for top 10 in this race. If I can't reach top 10, then we will see how we we adjust. Okay, I've already met. Can I restart this like lap? Like, like what the? That was a terrible start. Like I've found that it actually best off to just lift for that and then get on the brakes for that part. I don't know. I've just, I just find like it's faster and then you can actually take this pretty well flat and then break into that one. I don't know, it's just little things I was figuring out in, in practice, and it's like, I don't actually break for a lot of these corners, I only lift off for them. There's a lot more lifting and coasting here than you might expect, which is, I mean, it's quite cool, it's a different sort of thing for me. I feel like this lap has not been perfect, but like I said, if I don't get into the top 10, then we can sort of play with woo, how what we do and stuff. Like, the track did not get that much faster. It feels like like a 132 is not where I want to be. All right, well, let's just skip a bit and see how we are. Sergio Perez and Massa are both faster than me. That's really, really not good. There goes Kimi, even faster. He's like two, he's actually more than two seconds faster than me, which is just insane. I'm not going to go out and do another lap. I'm, I guess I'm just going to sit here and cross my fingers that I drop down to 11th place, really. And uh, Verstappen took my my fifth position. Okay, so eighth place. All right, well, we get some more resource points from that thing. Go. That will uh, that actually gives us from that one alone enough resource points to go and get uh, our next upgrade, which is really cool. We also got really, really close to our team approval being in the purple, which is awesome. Uh, maybe that will actually make me first driver if we can get up there, depending on how today's race goes. Should we go in and get another power unit? Internal combustion engine, which is a little bit iffy. Yeah, we might want another one of them. Do we take today's race and sort of put it on the back burner and get some of these parts? Because these are five grade, uh, five place grid penalties, I believe. So let's let's get that and we'll take another turbo for the end of the season as well. Do we pick up two grid drop penalties? But we should be fine now for the rest of the season, I hope. I think we'll be fine on gearboxes. So let's go to race. Where am I gonna be starting? I should be around 18, I believe. Oh God, am I really starting? Oh my God, I'm starting, I'm starting behind Magnuson. We have 27 laps 
uh, of this Grand Prix. It's supposed to take 42 minutes. That's fine. Uh, we're supposed to stop on lap 7 for the Super Softs. Uh, and then come back in at lap 15 for the softs. I think that'll be okay. Let's drop our fuel down to 29 laps uh, of fuel so we can try to get a blistering start uh, off the line and get some early overtakes in. And then I think we should be fine to go. All right, fingers crossed, boys. Uh, let's try to nail this. Now, people have been telling me to start off the race in lean revs. I'm going to try that. Oh, poor start. I could have had a little bit better reaction there. And then once the wheel spin's done, then get up to rich revs. All right, so we are so much faster than these back markers. And those guys are going three wide into the corner. I'm getting pushed off the track. Try not to pass. Illegal overtake on Magnuson? Really? All right, well, I'm in 19th place. No cool. No bueno. Come on, boys. Let's get going. I'm on AI difficulty 95 as we ring it around the outside on Magnuson. And then we get the inside line on Verline. Get him with our power. Thank you. Man, what a poor start from us. We didn't get as many people as I was hoping we would. Whoa. Whoa, that could have ended really, really bad for us. I completely lost control of the car going into there. All right, Alonso getting on the brakes very early. I'm going to take a little inside look. Oh, Palmer. What are you do? What are you doing? Like, actually, what was your strategy there? All right, we got Van Dorn, who's actually really improved throughout the season, so he might actually give us some trouble passing him. So I'm gonna check the car up into Rich Revs, see if we can pass him before 130R closing, 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 closing. Oh, we got the power! Oh, thank you very much. All right, now who do we have in front of us? We've got Grosjean on the medium compound tire, so he's going for a one stop. So is Stroll up here. How interesting. Valtteri goes and sets the fastest lap. That's really interesting. So he must be leading the Grand Prix right now. Wow, what a what an interesting first lap. Okay, we've caught up to Groja. This shouldn't be a very hard pass as we're on the super softs. He's on the medium. Thank you. And we go past him up in the 12th place now. We're basically passing all the people that one, we are faster than and two, are on worse tires than us. Whoa, stroll, stroll, stroll. I don't know if you locked up. Or if your car is smoking, it seems like you just locked up. But that was a little sketchy. He slowed me down a little bit. Let's get back on the rich revs. We've got Alcon up here, who's actually on the super soft tires. Now, we know we are a little bit faster than him. He's actually dropped a few places. Wasn't he in 7th or 8th? All right, come on, Red Bull. All right, so Toro Rosso. Oh, shit. Sorry. Hamilton goes and sets the fastest lap. So we've got a little train here. Toro Rosso, uh, Renault, and of Force India. All right. All right, we're definitely closing in on Mag or on Alcon. I saw the yellow flag thing come up. There was a yellow flag in Sector 1. I don't know what that was for, but I think someone may have just gone off or, or something happened there. I'm not sure. But anyways, I've closed into the back of Alcon here and currently driving on the grass being a lawnmower. This is not good. All right, we're, we're, we're in good shape right now, though. I should get a little bit of DRS possibly down the straight, depending on how the next couple corners go. Actually, that's a big drift. Shh fly around Alcon come on there we go thank you the Renault is sparking like crazy as he's going through 130R all right get on the brakes early I've taken out the other cone this lap good just trying to get on top side of the curb all right we're gonna get DRS this should be good uh hopefully we can get past both of these guys up into rich revs there's the yellow flag in sector in the final corner actually I don't know what happened there oh we're gonna be going three wide oh I'm gonna pull out I'm gonna pull out I don't want to get in a crash Hulkenberg pushing the Toro Rosso wide, and then I'm going to capitalize on both of them through there. Thank you very much, lads. All right, up into eighth place now. In front of me, I've got Sergio Perez, who's actually really, really far away right now. All right, so I guess we should probably start monitoring the times between myself and Perez. Perez is four seconds in front right now, so we'll monitor that, see how that changes throughout the... Uh, the next couple of laps but hopefully i can catch up to him I, I mean i am in a faster car but i just i just got to start driving a little bit better if i'm honest uh i think perez had a slight problem i don't know what happened but somehow we are right on the back of him all right here we go get the drs going get the rich revs going drs is open oh wow he's fast we're closing we're closing but it's not gonna be enough even with the rich revs the Pink Panther's quick, man. I'd also just like to point out that the uh, the guys in first place 
are setting lap times that are 1 minute 30. My best lap time right now is a 135. Sebastian Vettel goes and makes his fastest lap even better. 134, so yeah, they are definitely pulling. Oh, uh, Verstappen's off into the pits, okay. Whoa, I did that whole lap on Rich Revs? That was not intentional. Anyways, a lot of people in the pit lane there. Jumping over to the soft compound tires I saw Hamilton on, actually. All right, so we're supposed to pit in this lap. I'm not going to be able to get in front of Perez before we jump into the pit lane, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have been in front of him for that because I, I feel like we're almost going to get held up here. Oh, every time I get a penalty. Nailed it. Oh, wow. And look how close I am now. Okay. Whoa, our pit box is early. All right, you ready, boys? Go! I got held up by everyone. Oh, I jumped Perez, though. Loser! <laughs> Sucks to be you, buddy. Made an overtake happen in the pits. I'm on the super softs. He's on the softs, actually. So he's going with the same strategy as everyone else. So I need to really pull away from him right here. All right, anyways, we're back with uh, our friends, the Saubers and the McLarens. We're going to get back into over, over, overtaking training right now. All right, maybe I shouldn't go for the fast world's fastest overtake on Van Dorn. Maybe I'll just sit back here and overtake him slowly. Okay, and we're going to try to get him around the inside. Thank you. Oh, we'll take both of them at the same time. He just left that front door open. Thank you, Veriline. Anyways, thanks for not slowing me down so much. All right, we'll see if Perez can uh, maneuver the traffic as well as I was able to. Anyways, now we've got Verstappen actually in front of us, who's on these super soft tires, but he seems to be slowing down. It's like he's getting held up by a lot of people. Oh, hello, we're catching up to people. Couldn't actually see what tire compound they're on, but there is a massive, massive train here. What is going on? Someone is going very, very slow at the front of this thing, and no one can overtake. Vettel actually goes and betters him at a 133. Still, my best lap time is basically a 136. Hey, there we go. I got a one thir I got a 134. Hey, it's about time. So what is going on up here? Who who's holding everyone up? Whoa, they got on the brakes really early. Raikkonen's in this train. Hamilton's in this train. What is going on? Who is leading this thing? All right, we're going to fly up the inside. Oh, it's a Toro Rosso holding up everybody. That is hilarious. Yo, know, Hamilton had a look. I think Hamilton may have gotten overtaken. Mass is going for a look on me. Oh, we bump through 130R. Oh, that's heavy braking going into there. That was a game of chicken and I won. Oh, Palmer jumps into the pits. All right, these two guys are still being held up. Let's get in rich revs and just stick with their slipstream. Keep up, keep up, keep up. Oh my God, they're still pulling. Oh, they're so fast. Oh, three wide through corner one. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, that is so dangerous. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, we're gone. All right, let's try to get past these two guys. We're gonna lift off. Raikkonen's gonna run, run really wide, leave the front door open for me. And we're going three wide through corner one. Raikkonen comes, bumps my front wing. He actually broke some of my front wing. That's not cool, bro. That's really, really not cool. And we didn't even get the overtake done. Now Carlos Sainz is holding them both up. Oh, that's, uh, bro, really? Oh, good couple corners. Sit with Kimmy. Sit with Kimmy. Oh, we're pushing Kimmy along. Oh, Kimmy, we got the inside line, bro. We got the inside line, bro. Oh, shit. That was a game of chicken, and I lost that one. Back. Switch back. I'll take it. And, Kimmy, I'm going to cut you off because uh, you broke my wing. Dick. Oh. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but it's like... It's a track-wide virtual safety car. I mean, I guess all the virtual safety cars are track-wide, but... I guess something pretty major must have actually happened. All right, reduce my pace, please. This is the problem with virtual safety car. I never know the pace to go at because it's always me just like going too fast and then going too slow. Like, you see the problem I'm having? See, this is why I hate virtual safety cars. There's no indication of whether you're going too fast or too slow other than some little green thing in the top right-hand corner. All right, return to racing speed. Let go! Oh, wait. Someone's like actually stopped on the track up here. Uh... You guys really decided to end virtual safety car with a guy stopped on probably one of the fastest parts of the entire track? Uh, who is this up here? It's caution, no overtaking. That would be Nico Hulkenberg. Oh my god, Raikkonen is right behind. I don't know what the hell is going on in this Grand Prix, but there are weird things happening. 
Felipe Massa is out of the Grand Prix. Wait, there's two people out of the Grand Prix. Actually, Kimmy was a little, little napping going through there. All right, I'll take it. Closing to Grosjean, closing to Grosjean, closing to Grosjean. Rich revs, go around the inside. Oh, we, he goes wide. He cuts back real hard, but we made the overtake happen. All right, and we may have actually got DRS or we might have got screwed over. Did we screw ourselves over? Yeah, we did. All right, no DRS for us. Grosjean, do not let those guys pass. Grosjean, block him. Did Raikkonen get him? Oh, Raikkonen got him, and I think Hamilton's going to get him as well. Oh, Grosjean was just a sitting duck. So we're supposed to pit in this lap, actually. So into the pits we go. Let's get our second pit stop done and out of the way now. Didn't actually get a penalty. See, that's all I need. I only need a couple of tries, and then we're good. All right, clutch in. And we didn't get held up. 2.3 seconds. All right, let's get this thing going. Start flying down the straight and uh, start pushing. Ma Max! No! No! Did the, did the... No! The Verstappen curse! Did it actually happen? He was behind me. This is him. No! No! My teammate! As we were catching as well. Like... Oh, we were doing well. Uh, that's a dangerous move, Vettel. I will take it, though. Don't know why he's again stopped on the curb. There's no yellow flag. I guess he just spun it. And he was just waiting for everyone to go past so he could rejoin safely. But he was legit on the track. This is legit the most dangerous F1 race. Like, it's crazy. Two people just sitting on the track, basically not moving. All right, well, uh, sixth place. That's not actually that bad as we're now past a Ferrari as well. So are we in, like technically third place is that possible uh i have a feeling hamilton may be getting held up here if i look at the map in the bottom left i can see a little train forming of three cars i know perez is in front of me right now so perez might be going very very slowly and holding up kimmy and hamilton if that's the case and i can get past those guys that would be insane gap to them right now is 5.2 seconds okay so let's start monitoring that and see if we can bring that time down a little bit. Oh no, it was Lance. Look at Lance in fourth place. Okay. So now we're four seconds to Lance, but I think he's actually let both Raikkonen and Hamilton go. Uh, there were some yellow flags again in sector three. Uh, again, just one part of the track. Sergio Perez is out of the race and there's a virtual safety car. What has happened now? Let's take a look. Like I said, something usually goes wrong. Is this Paris? I don't know the numbers of them. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a engine gone. Goodbye. At least he parked it, like not on the track. Good job, buddy. We should be good to go now. Come on. Yeah, we're good. All right, DRS is enabled. I wasn't actually caught napping that time. Return to racing speed. I thought that was someone immediately out of the race again. Boy, that would have been bad. And just out of interest, how is our engine doing oh our turbocharger is also going out a little bit maybe we should have uh got some extra parts because i did i wasn't expecting to drop down to all the way last when i was taking those parts so we probably should have taken a whole new engine i can't believe like only 16 people might at this point finish the race oh kimmy goes sets the fastest lap he's making up for uh vettel being somewhere back there yeah buddy <laughs> let's catch him now's our ch now's our chance yo i'm just saying he doesn't seem to have the world's biggest problem because he's still pretty quick oh here we go here we go now we see him with the problem oh stroll you're gonna get done in by a red bull round the outside get on the inside Ooh, sorry sorry i didn't mean to do that a little love tap at least we didn't break anything all right let's go into mix two here just chill Save our engine, we're past Lance. Engineer's telling me I'm 10.1 seconds away from Hamilton. Yeah, I'm not catching him. Well, to be fair, these past couple laps have been pretty uneventful. Uh, Stroll's gotten overtaken by Groja, who's now moved up to fifth place, so he's gonna have one hell of a finish. Bottas finishes the race and he finishes first. Uh, Kimi, I think, must have finished second there, pulling in the new fastest lap time as 132, basically dead. Super fast lap time. Uh, and then coming third is going to be Hamilton, and then I am going to be coming fourth place. 16 people are finishing this race. I cannot believe what happened to Verstappen again. 
absolutely blows up his engine and has to retire from the race. That's really, really unfortunate. Uh, but somehow Vettel had some type of problem. I guess he spun or something. So us finishing fourth place is really, really good. I'm happy with that. All right. So yeah, if you would have told me at the beginning of today, uh, I would have been finishing fourth place. I, I, would, I would be very surprised with that. But yeah, starting last place in the race and finishing fourth, I think is a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. So standings now, let's take a look. Lewis is actually taking first place in the championship and leading by only six points now. That is crazy. Uh, we, we actually stay in fourth place. Valtteri, even with his finish there, still behind us, so I'm happy with that. And uh, nothing's changing in the Constructors' Championship other than Sauber moving down to last place. Wow, they and McLaren only have one point. That's not very good. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe down below. Next episode, we are going to continue the upgrades and see if our upgrade was actually successful. Fingers crossed it is. And yeah, I'll see you guys next weekend. Should be pretty interesting. See you guys then. Bye. It's actually Circuit of the Americas, so that's a fun one. All right, see you guys then. Bye. This cat is the loudest cat ever. Okay, hold on.